Hey YouTubers, I'm Todd Snard, also known as Lemu Todd. Yes, indeed. Here I am again. I got a lot of requests to demonstrate a field strip on the 1911 Kiapa 1911 22. Okay, and I am here to do that. I'm going to do them separately. I'm going to do one about adjusting the properly adjusting of the sights, and another one uh, right now that will demonstrate the field strip of this pistol okay first off there is no magazine in the pistol slide the slide back checking the barrel no bullets in everything's safe safety first folks is most important okay do not dry fire the Kia 1911 what I mean is don't pull the hammer back and pull the trigger because what happens the hammer hits the firing pin the firing pin comes in contact with the barrel surface and it leaves a dimple in it and when that happens the gun will not function correctly okay that is the one warning I'm giving you right now don't do it do not dry fire this weapon all right here we go to the field stripping down and dirty here you go y'all I hope this is educational for you okay what we have here is this is the last round hold open as you can see let me do it for you here what I mean is when the last round is fired, when the weapons when the weapons functions, that's what this arm does. You see the arm right there, it flips up and it holds the slide open. See? Okay? And and the reason I'm telling you that is because this also functions as the retaining pin for the slide to come off. Okay? Alright, moving right along. Here we go. What you have to do on the front of the firearm you see that there's a little detent here and as you can see there's a barrel retainer a lock slide lock I'll show you here you push this down because it's spring loaded you turn the slide lock like so you see how I have it turned and I'm still holding the spring retainer down which which fits in this half moon shape right there okay See that little half moon shape? That slides around and fits right in the retainer. Now what you do is you hold the weapon down a little bit and you let the retainer slide like this and then you have the spring, the retainer, and the detent pin. You see the detent pin goes all the way back to the original pin that I was speaking about here which I'm about to show you now. This, after you pull that out, pulls out. You see? See the pin? This is the pin that goes through and holds the slide in place. Now that that isn't out, all you have to do is pull the barrel retainer out, just like that. There it is. You see, it's keyed. I don't know if you can see it, but it's keyed on the end, trust me. There's a big spot, and you'll see it when you get it out. And it's also keyed on the slide. Now, once that's out, you're ready to take the slide off. All you have to do, pull straight back, watch pull out you see me pulling it up from the frame and then push it forward there it is field stripped easy right piece of cake man I'm telling you all right now we're gonna put it back together easy enough put the slide on pull it all the way back see what I'm doing I'm pushing it against the slide and pushing forward that's it then the pin and last round goes in the hole right above the trigger bang see right there it is alright then holding the barrel slightly down you're putting it here sliding the retainer the spring and the cap button in and holding it then the barrel retainer and slide retainer remember I said it was keyed so you push it in off to the side just like that it pushes in then once it's all the way down you just simply turn it and then release the retainer button you see on the retainer button I don't know if you can see it or not but you see there's little tabs on every side one two three and then of course on the half moon part there's no pin that's how you know that you have it properly aligned see simple piece of cake now look at that you have a functioning pistol again. There you have it. 
once again do not dry fire make sure the safety's on safety's on afterwards and there is the proper demonstration of field stripping of the 1911 22 folks the here's a friendly reminder also you got to keep it safe when you're dealing with with pistols and guns and rifles although this is a 22 keep in mind it still is a, a deadly instrument if you're not paying attention when you're shooting at targets make sure that what you're shooting towards down range is clear even though it seems like it's just a 22 caliber that 22 caliber when fired can travel a distance of over a mile okay so be aware of that think safely have backstops when you're practicing and stuff and also if you would please check out my website www.limutad.imlimu.com that's limutad one word dot imlimu.com You'll be very glad you did. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to come back with a site in an adjustment site on this same 1911-22 on another video. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye-bye now.